A shoe art project at McLean High School has grown into something unexpected. It's made its debut at a local museum. And two news Oklahoma's Jeanette Quesada finds, well, the possibilities for this high school project are endless. This was the first shoe um, that started all the sneakerhead culture. That's what created like this obsession with sneakers. This is the McLean OG shoe. Just as the original 1985 Chicago Air Jordan created a movement within the sneaker world, this art project has also started a phenomenon at McLean High School. Everyone that's seen it is just like, whoa, like, uh, hold on a second, like, that's taller than I am. Fine arts teacher Adam Karn says the project was inspired by a student who wanted to paint his own shoes. Soon, that idea grew into something bigger than students ever expected. The students didn't quite get the scope of what the project was going to be, but um, yeah, once it started turning into this giant thing, they were like all about it. Carnes and 71 students worked on the shoe. Christian Sanders is one of them. He says the project has helped boost his self-esteem. It makes me want to get more creative on certain things that I create and find more ways to have everyone else get a bigger feeling on it or uh, get more involved into certain projects or activities or anything like that. They use cardboard flower, water and paint for the body and canvas for the shoelaces. It took them 61 days to complete. And since then, the sculpture has already made its first museum appearance at the Philbrook Sneaker Soiree. It's been to the museum, so I think that's a big step. A big step, Corns and others at the school hope will bring greater opportunities for the students. For example, while students were attending the PGA, a Beyond the Greens event, one of the school coaches met a former Nike employee and vice president for the Jordan brand. Since then, they've been in contact with him, hoping he can help connect them with the right sources to get each student a pair of Jordans as a reward for their hard work. Not everyone can afford two and three hundred dollar shoes, but I believe that they put in that work uh, through their art that they're deserving of that to me. In Tulsa, Janeke Sada, Tunis, Oklahoma.